Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do something that's really fun. A nice little flower arrangement in a clear glass vase. And of course, if you're enjoying these, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future painting videos. Let's get started. We'll start off today with a nice soft blue-gray color on a three-quarter brush. And to that, I want to add just a little bit of clear gel. That'll help it sort of move along on the canvas a little better. Okay, now we're using a smaller canvas today, and I have it vertical. The reason is because we're going to paint some gladiola flowers today. And these things are really tall, and they grow on these huge stalks, and they got a bunch of flowers coming off of the, each stalk. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't really feel like it would work very well horizontal, which is what we obviously normal, normally work in. So I went with a vertical canvas and I had to go smaller. It's 18 inches by 14 across. So it films pretty well. <laughs> I tried putting a 18 by 24 vertical up here and it was just way too tall. It's way up there. So this is a little easier for me to paint and it's easier to fill. So there you go. But you do it on whatever size you want to. There. And as you can see, I did a quick basic little sketch here. Nothing complicated, mostly just to get the vase in properly. There. And I'm going to change the color, make it slightly darker as we go across this painting. Maybe just have a light here and dark on, on this side just to create a little variety. Now I just quickly wipe down this area with a paper towel and that just removes the extra paint. So now I'll load up our three-quarter brush with a little bit of yellow and white. And right up in here where, where I know I kind of want some brightness, let me just throw a little bit of this color in. Not much. Don't want too much. And I'm sort of going vertically for the most part. You don't have to go vertically. You could go just like this, but I don't know. I kind of like the way this looks. It just gives it a little extra fun there. All right, now this background, especially around this area, has a little bit of red, and that helps. Helps me so I don't get green. Next, we're just going to fill in this little area down here. This is like a little table or something that the flowers are sitting on. I have just a little bit of brown, touch of white, little bit of clear gel in it just because it helps it to slide better and also we're not painting over this area much so you can let it get just a tiny bit slippery that's okay <laughs> so you don't have to spend all day trying to grind this into the canvas now I don't want this area to be just flat so every once in a while see I take a little pure color even blue and just see you just sort of touch it and then feather that in it works better once the whole area is kind of wet there I like that. That kind of just gives it some variation. A little bit of yellow. Watch this. We can do yellow. Streak a little bit of yellow in there. Feather it in. It's all good. <laughs> there we go. We'll just sort of finish this up here. Even a little bit of blue to tie into that background is nice. Some red too. See, although it's just a, it's just ordinarily you'd think, oh, it's just a brown table. But try to put a lot of color in it. And it'll make it so much nicer. Now we'll load up our little detail round brush with a soft gray color. And I'm going to start painting in our first little gladiola up here. There's the center of the flower. And for this particular one, a couple of these up here, I have a basic, very, very quick sketch. Just took me three seconds to, to get that in there. Really not for the shape, just for the placement so that, so that I leave this one kind of blank because this one's going to be white. And because it's going to be white, it's easier to paint if you don't have a thick background. Now, we're going to have a whole bunch in here. And for the most part, I planned to have some other colors out away from the center here. So those other colors should pretty easily eat up what little blue we have out here. All right, so I'm just going to spend a few minutes doing this. It's not going to look like anything after this step. I'm just very quickly brushing in some color. And our light's coming across like this. All right, maybe this one right in here. I don't know, just little, little bits of this color. We'll blend all this and make it pretty later. I'm not worried about that yet. Up here, the same. There, good. And as we go along, maybe let's just grab. So let's just work into the same pile. Let's just grab a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. Make a, a bit of an orange color. Good. And we'll simply choose another area right here. And I'm, I'm going to just be really loose with some of these. See, just as... Just a few brush strokes is all it's going to take, especially for the ones that are just not out in the, not out in the front. These are going to be out behind leaves and all sorts of things, so I'm not nearly as concerned about them. So I'm going to have a lot of fun just doing this, smudging in some color. There. 
also didn't mention, but I put just a little bit of this table, I kind of put that right up into the vase as I was going there. And that's good, it, may, it helps to make it look clear. Makes it look like the color's sort of being reflected in there. Now I've changed to a, a little bit of green on our detail round, and I'm gonna just drop in some, well, some of the little stems that these flowers are connected to. Now, let me show you, it's mostly just green. I did throw just a touch of black and blue into it, but mostly green, because when it mixes with all these colors down here, I want it to stay very, very bright and, oh, a nice, a vibrant green there. In fact, you can even throw a little bit of yellow in it, and I think we'll probably want to do that pretty soon. So now all these, even when I was just slapping in the color here, I threw a couple of, you know, little lines that I thought, well, those might be stems. So now I'll just trace right over those, and there you go. Sort of kept me from going too far away from, you wouldn't want your flowers going too far away from the stem. There. Now the way these gladiolas work, it's just this long, long stalk, and then connected to these are these like long buds. And then from the buds, these little flowers come out, obviously. There. Some are more open than others, and they tend to open from the bottom up. So the ones at the top are not really open, whereas the ones at the bottom are, oh, they're nice. There. For now, I'm being pretty loose and impressionistic with this because some of these flowers will be covered up. Then I'll come back and the ones that are showing, I'll kind of make a little prettier. There. And since we're going with this, let's just drop in here and there. I'm not going to, these are not the stems in the vase yet. I'm just throwing in a little bit of color. That's all. I'm not painting the stem. We will do that, but just not yet. Probably do it pretty soon. There, cut around your little white flowers in the middle. Those are the only ones that I'm really concerned with. Everything else is pretty simple to paint over. Oh, right here, watch this. Bring that one in. I'm gonna have a, have a bit of a movement to the flowers. I don't want them all just sticking straight out. So this one crosses over and has, see that? That is neat, love it. Next, let's just drop in a few stems here in this glass vase. And I'm using the little detail round, just, it's been working great, so I'm sticking to it here. And there, see that? Just drop these little, little guys in. Now, maybe here and there we do see some individual ones, but a lot of this is just gonna be dark. And I'll do that with some brown, black, touch of green every once in a while, not, not too much green. There, see that? That'll just, it'll represent little stems and things, just a mush of color. Gotta love those little little areas where you just don't have to over over detail it. Just here and there, put a little color and then call it good. It's a lot more fun, very easy. Just have fun with this. I don't paint much clear glass, as you probably know. So I'm just kind of experimenting here with the colors and we may change this around a little. We'll see how it goes. There, I know these stems do need to be highlighted. Let's do that. A little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. My palette's a big mess here. But that's okay, because I'm kind of borrowing color from everywhere. A little bit of green and yellow, and there. Slide in a, a highlight. We'll highlight the stems on top. I'm just wanting to get this vase pretty well finished pretty soon. There, nice. Now we'll go through a little bit of light pink here on the detail brush. And let's start thinking about these flowers, at least some of the big ones here. Just touch and pull. And create a little bit of highlight out on these guys. Now, it is important to understand how these flowers go, and how they're shaped and all that. So, you want to think about it as you go. You don't want to just come up here and start slapping on some color because the petals are connected in certain ways. and <laughs> It's just flowers are not like trees. Trees can grow anyway, and it doesn't usually make any difference, but oh boy, on the flower, you gotta get it at least close. So pay a little extra attention to what you're doing. All right, anyway, we'll just sort of spend a few minutes here working on the details, and it does take a little while, and it's gonna take a lot of, well, a lot of little bits of work, a lot of little brush movements, and 
lot of little changes of color to, to get these things looking really nice. And now, don't worry, you don't have to do this to every one. Just pick out three or four main flowers, concentrate on them, and then the rest will sort of just be quick smudges because after you show the viewer that these are a nice grouping of flowers, then the rest kind of just fill in with color. There. Now with our detail brush, I'm gonna very carefully just touch on a little bit, tiny bit of white here. And this will create a highlight on this side, but you gotta be careful. So you don't wanna ruin the shape. All right, pretty subtle. Good, now I'm gonna set that brush down and grab a three quarter brush. And right here, I wanna create just a bit. I'm just gonna very carefully, very lightly drag down. I don't want this to mix much with this, with this uh, table. I just wanna give it a little effect of, there, <laughs> a little bit of effect of like, I don't know, the light kind of coming through or reflection or something here on the table. Now I went ahead and just threw a quick shadow here because I was looking at this whole painting overall and it just felt like we needed a stronger light source and I think our light's kind of coming from the front. So I have a little bit of a cast shadow right back here and thankfully, because the light's kind of low, it's just mostly the vase and then it kind of dissipates off the canvas and we don't have to worry about trying to replicate any of our flowers, which should be, which should be a little tricky. So anyways, now I'm gonna take our little blender, her detail brush, almost said blender, I'm not blending anything right now. And I am going to just finish up on some of these flowers. Looks like I missed a couple. This is one of those paintings I've just been bouncing around, trying to figure out all these different components. There. I love it though. This has just been so much fun. I love doing these new and different things. This is the very first time I've ever done this. <laughs> Never painted gladiolas before in my life. So this is kind of, this is kind of interesting. And I don't recall doing any clear vases. I might have a long time ago, but none, <laughs> none recently. So this is all a lot of fun, very new. And so it's kind of just interesting to give yourself a challenge every once in a while. And really learn a lot and pay attention and figure out what brush strokes you need and which ones don't work. I figured out a couple things that didn't work too well. There. I like it. One thing that I've been doing is I've had a little bit of paint on my palette, a little bit of the leftover color. And that's good in case I make a, a little bit of a mistake, you can kind of go back in and cut around. I've had to do that on a couple of these flowers that I've been detailing them out. So just in case, it's kind of nice to have it there. Now, one of the last things we want to do up here is very simply highlight our, our little flowers, or the leaves at least, and the little, the buds, the leaves and the buds, there. Now, obviously, just like a landscape, if you over highlight, then it all just goes flat. So I'm gonna be extremely careful and make sure that the highlight goes in the right spot and I don't overdo it. Cool. See how that brings the, kind of brings the whole flower arrangement out just by having a few of these. But your darks are important too, very important. So you wanna make sure you, you leave as much of that dark as you can. Don't overdo this. And at least as much of it as you can without the whole painting looking flat. There. Because just dark is no good by itself. You have to have light and dark, the right, the right balance. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.